Happy Summerfest 2012, everyone. I'm Brian Phillips in the big room here at CD1025. This is a special occasion because tonight marks their U.S. live rock debut. Put your hands together for Atlas Genius. Thank you. A song, then we'll talk. What are you going to play first? The first song we are going to play is called If So. This is going to be on the album. So you probably haven't heard this song yet. Everybody's taking what they can, but they can't decide. And they do what they want to, cause any kind of feeling's alright. Don't be talking, maybe your mama's flying high as a kite. You're just like the next one, cause we'll be walking lonely tonight. Lonely tonight. If so, if so, we know we'll be coming. If so, if so, we know we'll be coming. If so, if so, we know we'll be coming. Everybody's faking like they can, it makes it all right. Tell me what you want to Cause I don't know the wrong from the right And don't be talking Maybe your mama's still high as a kite And I'm just like the next one Cause we'll be walking lonely tonight Lonely tonight If so if so, we know we'll be coming If so, if so, we know we'll be coming If so, if so, we know we'll be coming Yeah, definitely, definitely put that one on the album, Keith. If I could just be your A&R guy for a moment, put that one on the album. Okay. All right. Thanks. Atlas Genius playing live at Summerfest tonight, their U.S. live debut. Gates at 3.30, and music starts, Bones, 4 o'clock, right? 4-ish? 4 4.15. Thank you. Uh, come by the A&R bar starting at 2 o'clock. We'll register you for a chance at meet and greets. I cannot be more specific than that between 2 and 3.30, you can register. Now, you mentioned the album, so let's start there. You have an EP out now. When's the album coming out? We're doing final tweaks at the moment on the album, so it's basically finished. Uh, we've got a few more weeks of work just to get that done. Uh, then it'll, it'll be mixed. Uh, but we haven't got an exact date just yet. Sometime this year? Maybe? Prob uh, maybe. All right. Yeah. We'll go with that then. I understand it's how a, these things it's go. It's a maybe. You have layers of people now. Yeah. Layers of people who have an input, apparently. 
Yeah, we have no say. Now, where are you doing the record? Uh, we actually recorded the record in our studio in Australia, uh, the studio that we built. And uh, we're just doing final tweaks, actually, on the road, um, in the van, everywhere. Well, that's great because you did the EP at home as well. Correct. It, control, very important to you, I take it, then. Uh, yeah, we like to have control. We do. Control freaks, as we say here in America. Yeah, we'll go with that. All right, fair enough. Now, Keith... Your brother Michael is in the studio audience. He does not have a microphone, so Correct. he cannot speak for himself. There are three brothers in the band from At Adelaide. Am I pronouncing it right? Adelaide. Yeah. yeah. That's good. In Australia, in the south of Australia. And then Darren here, you picked him up along the way, apparently. He's from London, England. That's true. Darren, uh, what's the brother relationship like? Do they get along pretty well? Do you have to separate them at any point? <laughs> Speak into the microphone. It's beautiful. Sorry. It's, it's beautiful. All right, tell me a story from your childhood that sort of encapsulates the the three brothers and how you relate to one another. Um, as the oldest, I think, uh, really, I called the shots. I think I like to think that I still call the shots. Uh huh. Well, it's important. Somebody in a band's got to call the shots, whether you're related or not. Yeah, Michael's the youngest, but he actually uh, he's kind of the most mature. It's strange. Huh, it's funny how that works. It sounds like you guys get along pretty well, and you, to be brothers in a band, that's complicated, I would imagine. It is. It, there's pros and cons. The good thing is you can, uh, you can disagree, and the next day it never happened. Yeah. Well, one the, of you is going to call mom, right, and, and tell. So That's, that's Mike. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Atlas Genius playing our Summerfest show tonight, headlined by Metric. It is completely and entirely sold out. And we're so glad that you guys could make it all the way from Australia to make your American debut right here in Columbus. We're excited to be here. All right. How about another song that we'll chat a little bit okay. more? Huh? This song is on the EP. This is a song called Backseat. Thank you. Thinking no one could see They're just steps on the street I sell you a feeling oh, I sell you a to the grave we got time we're gonna waste it all we're gonna be fine we're complicated but we're as simple as we want it to be I sell you a feeling
Thank you. Backseat with Atlas Genius on the Through the Glass EP, the album coming sometime in the near future. Soon. Almost finished. All right, since this is our first time meeting, Keith, if you would, give me kind of a capsule history of Atlas Genius. Um, basically, we got together two, three years ago. We met just about a week after he got off the boat. He took a boat, so I don't know why. <laughs> It's a long You way. took a boat to Australia, It was Darren? a small dinghy. I have to say yes now, aren't I? Yes, I took a boat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Paddled it himself. Um, so we met really quickly after Darren got um, to Australia. Um, we hit it off um, and realised that we had similar musical tastes and interests in production and recording as well. Uh, so we started writing together. Quickly realised that we needed to build a proper studio in order to do this because the way we work is, like you said, we, we, we're perfectionists. <laughs> and we thought, you know, two weeks in a studio is not going to be enough and that's, you know, you, you hire a studio anywhere and it's going to cost you, you know, thousands and thousands just for a couple of weeks. So we thought we need a lot of time here to sort of allow to do our, our craft. So we built a studio. It took us two years. Um, towards the end of that period, we thought, this is crazy, what are we doing? We uh, went back to school. I started studying architecture. Uh, the other guys were doing things like economics and, uh, and business. And uh, three, w maybe three weeks, three months into it, we released a song called Trojans that we put up on SoundCloud and just a few things like that. And did no promotion, forgot about it completely. Six weeks later, uh, Michael was like, I should check the, uh, the band email account. I haven't checked it once. <laughs> Checks it. Uh, already there were, I think, four record companies uh, some managers and music lawyers from England and America had emailed us. Within the space of the next two months, 30 record companies uh, had emailed us. Uh, Ten managers, about maybe 10 lawyers as well. Uh, All right, let me see if I understand this correctly. You put a song online and then you went back for your architecture studies and your business studies and promptly forgot all about it. Yeah. And then one of your brothers said, hey mate, I should check the email then. <laughs> That's exactly how he sounds too. <laughs> Now, it, it, do you have uh, any idea how this started? Was it an accident that somebody heard it? Uh, was it a friend of yours that forwarded it to somebody? How did this no, happen? None of our friends really knew. We, we put it up and we didn't even really tell anybody about the song. So that was what was funny about it because a guy in New York who we've since become really good friends with... I should say so. ...found the song. His name was Andrew Huang from Neon Gold and he found the song on, a, on an Australian music like a directory where you just put your song up, but there's a million other songs. Somehow we found the song, liked it, blogged about it. And the problem for us was that Neon Gold is a really influential blog. Uh-huh. <laughs> so <laughs> when I say problem, I'm, I'm being rather um, ironic there. So what happened was a bunch of blogs then started writing about the song um, and the industry picked up on it. So it was, it was a really a story about the power of the internet. It was crazy the way it well, happened. It's... That's quite a story. And kids, if you're starting a band, that's exactly how you become famous. <laughs> Put the song up, forget all, set it and forget it. it go works. on with your life and everything will work out. It works every time. Well, <laughs> I'll tell you, if the, if, the, if the song isn't there, though, then none of that happens. So congratulations. I love that story. It's Thank very you. modern. That's not exactly how it worked for the Beatles, but... These are different times. These are different times. And we use different methods. Yeah. Well, Atlas Genius making their U.S. debut live on stage and not on SoundCloud tonight at our <laughs> Summer Fest show. One more and then we'll turn you guys loose. Well, this is the song that caused all these problems for us. <laughs> so, you know, we've got... We've got a lot to wait to this song. So this song is called Trojans. And uh, it goes like this. Take it off, take it in Take off all the thoughts of what we've been Take a look, hesitate Take a picture you could never recreate Write a song, make a note For the love that sits inside your throat Change the locks, 
change the scene, change it all, we can't change what we've been. Oh, oh, your Trojans in my head. Oh, oh, your Trojans in my head. Your Trojans in my head. It's okay if it's gone. Thoughts that you had, but it was the one. And oh, what is left for all those times? Is that what you get? Oh, regardless, the walls get painted anyway. Oh, God, and the gates, but it all got out. Take it off, take it in, take a fall of thoughts of what we've been. Take a look, hesitate, take a picture you could never recreate. Write a song, make a note for the love that sits inside your throat. Change the locks, change the scene. Change it all, but can't change what we've been. Oh, oh, your Trojans in my head. Oh, oh, your Trojans in my head. Your Trojans in my head. Take it all. All the thoughts and what we've been Take a fall thoughts and what we've been Thank you. Don't miss Atlas Genius tonight at our sold-out Summerfest show. Gates at 3.30. Music starts at 4.15. That's all I'm telling you. You should have the entire experience, including Atlas Genius. That was fun, guys. Thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for having us. And uh, we'll, we'll, show you, uh, we'll show you some trouble tonight after you guys are done working, if you want that. I Sounds know you good. went to Dirty Frank's last yeah, night, had yeah. some veggie dogs. We so did, yeah. You, you're already at least ankle deep in the Columbus experience. We're almost locals. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks again, guys. We look forward to the full-length album coming out at some point in the near future. Check out the EP, Through the Glass. It is out now and everywhere, and includes that song, Trojans. One more time for Atlas Genius. Thank you.